after the SmartView has been tested, we put the current version of the firmware on it. And uh, right now I'm going to show you how to set up a, a simple process and uh, display that process data on the screen, on the meter screen. When you power up a SmartView, it's pre-configured with uh, a process and a meter so that uh, you can actually see some data when you first turn it on. Uh, but we're going to add a process to measure the temperature from the sensor that's installed on the back. So I press the menu button. I'm going to press the processes button. And uh, you can see the existing process one. I'm going to add a process two. It says disabled now, but I'm going to now enable it and select the type of process, which says temperature. I'll type in a name for that process, and I'll simply call it uh, temp1. I'm going to uh, give it units of degrees Celsius, but I could also choose uh, degrees Fahrenheit or Kelvin if I want to. I'll just leave it at degrees Celsius and say OK. And there's my process 2. I'm still showing process 1 on the meter screen. So now I want to display a meter for that new temperature process. So I'm going to replace this, this rate counter process with the temperature process I just created. I'm going to do that by pressing the meters button on the main menu. And I'm going to change this meter one from the existing default process uh, to the P2 temp one process that I just created. And uh, I'm going to choose a digital meter. And I'll select exit, OK. Exit back to the meter screen, and it's now showing the ambient temperature from that sensor. If I want to add an analog, or rather a, a, a graph, so I can see history of that, I can change the meter to a history graph. And then the color and the type of line, thin or thick or filled, and I'll change the scale of that meter. I'll say maybe 30 degrees will be the upper limit on the graph. Exit, OK, exit from the main menu. And there is a history graph of the temperature data. And that's how simple it is to set up a SmartView.